Okay, going to give a quick rundown of how to do your project. I've got my class called up at BTW Classroom. I have over here the e-learning portfolio assignment. So the first thing we're doing is entering a description of your class under settings. So you can just scroll down here on the left, there'll be edit settings. Under edit settings, you scroll down and there's your description. This will just give me a little bit of the age and subject of student you're dealing with. And next thing you know, hit save changes. Okay, that part's done. Make the news form invisible and create a standard form. Create a post in that form for students to respond to. If I, first thing I have to do, always, if I, it looks like this, I can't do anything, I have to turn the editing on. There we go. First thing we're going to do is make the news form invisible. And create a new form. Now, see, I just clicked. The add activity, form, and add. Give the form a name. Make it a standard form. And save and display it. Now we're going to add a new discussion topic. There I have my discussion prompt, and I can just come down here and post it to the forum. And there we go. So we're done with the second part. Let's go back to the main page. Create an assignment where students will answer the questions using an online form, make it worth 30 points, and the assignment due date should be April 29th at 6.30 p.m. I'm going to do add an activity, assignment, give the assignment a name, Make it a real sort of assignment, but I'm not going to nitpick you too much on what you put down for that. Make it due April 29th at 6.30 p.m. I said you wanted the online text sort of assignment, so we'll check that box and uncheck file submissions. And under grade, we'll make it worth 30 points. Save and display. There's the assignment. So let's go back to our page. Create an assignment where students will upload a document, presentation, or spreadsheet. Make this assignment worth 50 points. The assignment due date should be April 29th at 6.30 p.m. Once again, we click add an assignment, add a activity assignment, add. Now we're going to create an assignment where we upload, they upload a presentation or a spreadsheet, something like that. Make it due on April 29th at 6.30 p.m. Now, I said this is going to be a some file submission, so we leave that box checked and we make it worth 50 points.
I'm going to click save and display to make sure it's done right. And we should have a box to add submission down here. Yep. So that one is done. Create a link to a website on your topic. Here's the Wikipedia entry for my topic. Just going to come over here and add the link. Once again, add an activity or resource. URL. And I put the link right in there. The next part of the assignment, create a link to an uploaded file, a PDF or an image. I've already downloaded an image. You can see it right there. So add activity or resource. We're going to choose file. And now we drag our image right there. It uploads. We hit save and display. We can look at it. There we are. So now all that's left is doing the quiz. To add the quiz, we're going to click add activity or resource and choose quiz. Add. You have to give it a name, but that's all you really have to do on this page. All the options we talked about, I'm not asking you to do those. I just want to see you can generate the question. So click Save and Display. And then Edit Quiz. Now, if you don't have this little question bank contents over here, you can show it. But the easiest way to do this is just to come over to the list of questions and say add a question. You have to do an essay, a matching, a multiple choice, and a true false, but you need a total of 10 questions. But you have to use all four different question types. You only have to use each one once, but I know that many of you, you could have four matching and four multiple choice, an essay and a true false, things like that. So to add the essay, I'm going to click essay, add. You must give each question a title. So a good general essay question there. And we just come down and save changes. Now we can add another question. I'll make this one a true false. Write the question text. Now that's false. Down here on the bottom, we have a true false box. You choose which one your answer is. And then you save changes. Now we're going to do a matching question. Question text, you have to put something, some sort of instruction. Go down here to the answers. In the question one slot, you put the prompt and then you'll put the answer for it. For example, just like that. You have to have at least three choices in the matching. If you want to do more, you can hit this blanks for three more questions.
So now I have my three questions and answers and I can save changes. Finally, the we need a multiple choice. So we give it a title like all the other questions. Now we write in the question text. We skip down here to the answers. Now, whatever your right answer is going to be, you're going to have to give it 100% of the credit. And then you come down and put in the rest of your answer. save changes. Don't forget, you're going to need a total of 10 questions, but those are the four different types. Text or email if you have a question beyond that wasn't answered here. See you Wednesday.